I woke up at 5.30 this morning to the sound of hurricane force winds and rain lashing the wind windows of my hotel. And I thought to myself, this is going to be an interesting last day of Targa, Newfoundland. Uh, driving the rain today was a challenge. I've never really done that uh, in an extended period of time, let alone racing in the rain. Um, and we actually beat some of the four-wheel drive cars. So I'm really happy. It's kind of a, a personal pride for me. Exciting end to an exciting week. The car is perfect, there's not a thing wrong with it, which is pretty amazing since we were driving a very high strung, high performance vehicle, 2200 kilometers over the course of a whole week. And so the week was different, every day was different and that's Targa, you know, you just can't predict what's gonna happen. We were leading for a little while this week and that's nerve wracking, like, oh my God, I'm leading and you get really excited by that. And then you have to remember, you know what, you just gotta finish and that's, that's what is so sweet at the end of the day, is just getting to the end. It's a really intense bonding experience, for sure. Ralph and I just spent five whole days together at the complete and utter limit of our own performance. And uh, it's quite a privilege to have been able to do that and in this amazing car. Feels good to be here again. I forgot how good it feels to have this hanging around your neck. And you really earn it. I mean, it's nothing, uh, nothing's tougher in motorsport than this event. Ralph once described Targa Newfoundland as the Iron Man of motorsports, and I think he was absolutely right. It is a grueling, grueling week. It's tough to know as you cross the finish line if you're happy with the week or if you're just happy it's over. And, and, I, and I never forget the camaraderie. Now we all have something in common, everybody here, even though we drive totally different cars, come from totally different places, we all have Targa in common, and that's pretty cool.